Good morning, booktubers. Uh, I'm going to review three books this morning, kind of catch myself up. Uh, well, the first isn't really a review because I didn't finish the book. It's City of Bones by Cassandra Clary. And I didn't like this book. Uh, I suppose it would have been okay. Uh, I don't know why. It just didn't fit my taste, especially. Uh, I quit on page uh, somewhere around in the 160s. Uh, and I, when I was reading it, I didn't have anything else here that I wanted to get started on at the moment because I was waiting for some books from the that I'd ordered from the library through Interlibrary Loan. So I was kind of stuck for something to read and I had this one so I started it. But uh, it was uh, kind of it was like, oh gosh, I guess I better sit down and read my book. Is there anything else to do? Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, it's about uh, this uh, girl. Uh, it looks like I'm getting company. Uh, it's about this uh, girl. Her name is uh, Clary, like Sandra Clare. Uh, anyway, her name is Clary, and uh, she and her mother live in an apartment and um, apparently there's some hidden past with her mother and her that uh, she's had her memory wiped on that but um, anyway her mother is kidnapped by these uh, supernatural bad guys I forget what even they are uh, and then it turns out <coughs> that Clary can see supernatural beings which she shouldn't be able to and uh, these three teenage shadow hunters are after the people that <coughs> kidnapped her mother and she's in danger uh, but anyway these shadow hunters uh, are the good guys but they're just so disagreeable and hateful Jace is uh, supposed to be her romantic interest I guess but uh, he's conceited he's uh, disdainful he's uh, I don't know. It's just every time he opens his mouth, you just want to hit him. Um, and then the other two, um, what are their names? Um, uh, Isabel and Alec. Alec is the worst out of the group. I mean, he just looks down on everybody who's not a shadow hunter. He thinks there's just no person who's equal to him. Uh, <coughs> he doesn't like humans. Isabel is uh, just kind of a user type person, uh, you know, kind of a siren or something. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't like the book at all, and I was glad to toss it aside when my interlibrary loan books came in because the Scorch Trials. Okay, I reviewed uh, James Dashner's The Maze of video or two ago and uh, this is the sequel and the maze oh it was so good I gave it a five out of five uh, and as good as it was this one is twice as good uh, and just really couldn't put it down and uh, I don't know how James Dashner makes these si these horrible situations and uh, you know all these uh, characters who are under such stress and everything uh, be so intriguing but he does and uh, see in the last book in the Maze Runners uh, the boys and the one girl who came at the end she uh, or they were trapped in this sort of a, a forming complex I guess you would call it in the with a maze in the center of a maze <coughs> and they're uh, task was to try to escape <coughs> excuse me from and there were horrible creatures in the maze who would uh, painfully kill them and anyway it was just a horrible situation but uh, then in this one the same group the ones who survive anyway are in like the desert from hell uh, there's been some cataclysmic catastrophe in the world and this place is just scorched uh, and you don't know if it's just a big piece of the world or the whole world or how it is but something to do with solar flares and 
uh, and you, you just really don't know what else has gone wrong with the world. But uh, anyway, they're making their way across the Scorch, which is what they call this wasteland of, uh, of unbearable heat and uh, it's just a terrible place. Uh, but to complicate things, uh, there's there are groups in a town of uh, these creatures who, all well, these people, who have contacted a disease that escaped from the laboratory during all of these cataclysmic events and um, it gets into their brains and it makes them go crazy and they're just uh, murderously crazy in fact and they're they're almost like zombies because uh, the disease just gets worse and worse until they're eating each other uh, eating the other people um, they're just totally crazy and um, you know then there's uh, these lightning storms that the lightning is like it <laughs> strikes uh, anybody it can get to and it just kills them immediately it's like uh, you know just uh, it's not like our normal lightning which is bad enough if it strikes you but this is Anyway, they've got to make their way to the safe place, but there are complications, there are twists, uh, it's just really good, and now I can't wait for the third in the trilogy, which is The Death Cure, which is not coming out until October the 11th or 18th, something like that. So I can't wait to get uh, the next. And then, after that, I went back to Charles DeLint and read The Blue Girl. And this was really good too. I just really like Charles DeLant's writing. And um, in this one, the um, main character is Imogene, that's her, who uh, has moved to uh, Newford, which is a city that figures largely in Charles DeLant's stories. And uh, she decides to start high school with a difference this time since they've moved. She uh, is a broken free from her uh, bad uh, gang of friends in the last town and she wants to be normal in, in Newford. She wants to fit in. She wants to just be invisible to the popular high school kids who tend to pick on everybody and look down their noses and try to make life miserable for everybody else. So of course she doesn't fit in, um, but she teams up with this other girl who becomes her best friend and uh, but then uh, Imogene starts uh, seeing her imaginary friend from childhood again in her dreams and then not in her dreams in reality and uh, the, the her high school has a resident ghost of a boy who died uh, like six years previously and he was somebody who everybody picked on and his life was miserable and now he stays at the, at the high school all the time but he develops a crush on Imogene and follows her and uh, eventually she can see him so she gets uh, involved with all these odd creatures, the, the ghost boy, her imaginary friend, fairies, um, and uh, soul eaters who are after her because uh, they want to eat her soul. Uh, okay, that sounds kind of lame, but uh, anyway, this is a really, really good book. Uh, I would give it 4.9, I guess, out of 5. Uh, so far, I've loved everything that I've read of Charles DeLance. But uh, anyway, that, that's a really good book. And next up on my agenda is another Charles DeLance, The Onion Girl. And it's also set in Newford. And um, a lot of his books have characters that sort of overlap. Uh, this one, The Onion Girl, I think is uh, Jilly Coppercorn which is she figured in The Traitor, which was the first book of his that I read. She was uh, one of the group of friends of the main character. And um, also she was just 
mentioned in um, The Blue Girl. She was just a friend of a peripheral character there that was mentioned uh, that she's an artist. And she's called the title The Onion Girl refers to the fact of many layers, I think. Like an onion, she's got many layers uh, to her. And so anyway, I'm looking forward to reading that. I just, I think I'm on like page two. I just <laughs> had to at least barely start it last night. So I'm going to the library today and I'm going to uh, order some more books, I think, from Interlibrary Loan. And then I want to uh, get some nonfiction, which is what I used to always read. Uh, they've got some books, uh, Women's Letters from the Westward Journey. Uh, that's not the name of the book. I can't remember the name of the book. Um, there is a book, Women's Diaries of the <laughs> from the Westward Journey, because I've got it in the other house. Uh, so I need to get it moved here. Uh, all my books are scattered here and there. They're a mess. But um, anyway, it's going to be some uh, women's journals or journal ex excerpts or something. That's what I'm going to read after Onion Girl, I think. But I've also become intrigued with manga. I haven't ever read any, I haven't ever seen an actual book of manga, but I've been hearing about it from other YouTubers. I've been hearing about it on uh, different sites on the internet. And uh, anyway, I'm kind of intrigued. So I'm going to look at our library today and I think they've got several manga, manga books. And, uh, it's none of the ones that I've heard about that people have said are, are their favorites, but anyway, I might get those and look at them. I know it seems strange, right? Uh, Japanese comic books? Okay, but um, who knows? I might like it. I don't know. I like funky odd things. Well, anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.